Hey guys, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Into the Bush. Today, we're going to be doing another down home recipes for you today. And today, we're making bread and butter pickles. So, stick around, it should be a good one. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take all our cucumbers from the last video, from the last garden video, and we're going to put them all in a colander, and we're going to wash them to get all the dirt and everything off of them, but we're only going to do a few at a time, so stick around. So now that they're all washed, we're going to let them drain for a second. We're going to get our handy dandy paper towels out. We're going to lay them all on the paper towels and let them dry before we move on to the next step. So stick around guys. Alright guys, so here we are. Uh, it's been about 10-15 minutes after we washed them and we've let them fully dry. Uh, one of them, as I was looking at it, was kind of rotten. So I had to get rid of it. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to cut the ends off. And then we're going to slice it with the skin on. So let's get to it. Alright, now all, since all that is done, we will take it and move them from the colander and put them in this bowl. Now, the next thing we will do is we will get the salt and we cover them in salt. Alright, now since they're covered in salt, we will cover them and we will put them in the refrigerator for about an hour to an hour and a half. So, stick around. I will catch you all after that. Alright guys, now it's been an hour and a half since our cucumbers were in the salt in the refrigerator. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these cucumbers that are in the salt and we're going to put them in our colander and we're going to rinse them off and then put them back in here. As you can see all the water and everything that was in them have come out. So let's rinse our bowl. <clears throat> Well, now that they're rinsed, we're going to drain it. If we don't lose them all first. And we're going to put them back in the bowl. Alright. Now that they're back in the bowl, what we're going to do next is we're going to get our spices ready. So stick around. Alright guys, here we got our spices ready. Now, the spices that you will need and the amounts that you will need, I will, I will tell you right here. You will need one cup 
of granulated sugar, one cup of sugar, one cup of white vinegar, a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of light brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of mustard seed, a half a teaspoon of celery seed, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground turmeric. Now what we have to do here is we will mix all these together in a pot, any kind of pot will do. We will mix all these together. So we'll put the celery seed, the mustard seeds, the ground turmeric, Our brown sugar, now we will put our cup of regular sugar, our cup of white vinegar, and our apple cider vinegar. Now once those are in the pot, we will take it and put these on the stove on medium heat and let it simmer and we are stirring continuously until all the sugar is completely dissolved. So stick around. Alright guys, we're here we got it on the stove. It's on medium heat. I've got the old school whisk here. So I'm just going to slowly stir it and heat it up on medium heat until all the sugar is completely dissolved and our vinegar mixture, vinegar and spice mixture is all heated up and warm and then I will get back with you on the next step. Alright guys, we're back and the vinegar solution is all warmed up. Uh, there's not enough vinegar solution here to cover all of the cucumbers that I've got. So I will make one, maybe two more vinegar solutions for these. But what you do here is you take it and cover the pickles in the solution and you let it sit at room temperature for an hour. After you let it sit for an hour at room temperature you will cover it and you will put it in your refrigerator for 24 hours after the 24 hours you will put it in your airtight container and these will last in your refrigerator for up to um, well as little as a month I should say not up to but as little as a month or until you get really really hungry and want some pickles but they will last for a month or longer in this solution in your refrigerator So guys, I will catch back up with you after I get all of them covered and ready to go. 
Alright guys, it has been 24 hours and our pickles are ready to go. I've got two different jars to put them in. So let's take a look at them. Don't those pickles look amazing? They smell amazing, I tell you what. But, oh boy. This is going to be good. So, guys, I'm going to put these into the jars. And I will be right back with you. Alright guys, we got the pickles in the jars, and as you can see, it made a quart and a pint out of all those cucumbers that we had from the garden the other day. It made one quart and one pint of homemade bread and butter pickles. Now, the only thing you got to do is if they're in mason jars with lids, you can can them for long-term storage, or you could just put these straight into your refrigerator. So, I think I'm going to put these straight into the refrigerator. And I hope you all had a good uh, time watching this video. Uh, hopefully, you all will try this recipe sometime. And uh, feel free to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I do a video or go live. If you want to donate, you know there's three ways to donate. I'll put them in the description. And I really appreciate you all. And I will see you all in the next episode of Down Home Recipes here on Into the Bush. Be good, guys.